Hello my friends and welcome. Welcome to another unboxing. This time I have two boxes, interesting boxes from uh, brands that you know if you watch my channel. This is Mars Ted Stedler from Germany. Interesting, interesting metallic boxes. Well, uh, Stedler is a German brand of stationary products. The brand is now famous for its art products like pencils and colored paints. It is uh, interesting, guys. Although we have a similar design of boxes, one logo, this head of the Roman god Mars, the god of war, dates from 1952 and the other one more simplified version it dates from 1957 when uh, the logo was changed by this german manufacturer well guys you must know i paid for the t uh, those two boxes and their content just 100 lei, so approximately 20.33 euro or 24.11 American dollars. And believe me, guys, I've made a nice, nice deal because you will see the content of each box. Let's start with the oldest one with this logo, the box from 1952. If we open it, well. I love these little details. Let me show you something very, very interesting in my opinion. You can see the different schedules of a train, a train, I believe, with the stations and hours of departure. Very, very interesting. So someone that used this box, they glued this interesting interesting information and you know that i am a, a fan when i can see a fountain pen on a ballpoint pen that has some uh, personalization on it because maybe i can track its original owner but this is very very interesting some schedules from a train from i don't recognize the stations no Maybe they are from Germany or from Austria. I'm not so sure. And let's see what I have here. You know, guys, that I don't... I really, really don't buy... Pencils. But I have some vintage pencils. This is Van, Van Dyck. Let me give it a little zoom. Made in Germany. A Van Dyck from uh, Faber, Eberhard Faber. I'm not so sure if they are connected to the Faber castle. No rubber at this part. And this is the, I should say, NOS on not use pencil. Let's put it aside. I have another one green, this time from Faber Castell, copy 9611 Germany. Interesting with the green ending. This also from Germany, München and Faber Castell, Faber 6, 8670 Germany, copy or copying. Okay, and other pen from Faber Perfection, 7058 Germany, interesting, the same one, but uh, this time slightly used, Perfection, and another A.W. Faber Castell, copier okay and i have one from 
And so, made in Germany, Otelo Schwan, Germany. Interesting, interesting. And the last pencil from AWD Faber Castle for 08 Germany, Gold Faber Corporation, but gold. It's a mining thing, I think. Let me see what we have here. Well, I have a little square made out of plastic. I'm not so sure the use of it. And the last co of the content of this uh, box, it is a wonderful, wonderful ballpoint pen. A metallic ballpoint pen in, th in this brush silver, but... <laughs> Uh, ending like a silver but is definitely painted in an ivory color of course we are talking about the famous uh, american producer chef for so we have on this uh, ring chef written and it is a white dot Fountain pen. I like also the jewel at the end of the cap. It is quite quite an interesting. Of course, it is a ballpoint pen. Let me show you guys a ballpoint pen with a rather rather I should say interesting nib. I believe it is a trademark of Chef or a roller Faber refill. And guys, this is the content of the first box. I will leave it here, the fountain pen. I will leave it here, the box. Now we are moving on to a more modern box. And judging by the logo, I should say it is from uh, at least 1967. Okay, this has lots and lots of written instruments and I will just start with this small small burgundy red with uh, those superb golden trims this is an Osama this is its name and you can see she has a little grip on the nib which is a good good thing in this situation guys so, an Indian point made in Germany. Okay. I am tempted to buy that bear over there to increase my uh, knowledge. This is a cartilage filler, by the way. And I'm impressed by its size. It is a quite, quite small sized fountain pen. I will leave this aside. And now I have other fountain pens but I will start with this one I'm not so sure the manufacturer of this one I only have this model here uh, and this is an interesting interesting fountain pen with a metallic cap rather interesting uh, but with the generic nib so I'm not so sure where does this uh, ancestors of this person live or what the combination are so it is what it is i will leave this aside i have here a ballpoint pen from flaro if you can see bra pause you want to pause the video? No. This is the ballpoint pen. I have another pen. Van Dyke. Oh my god. Okay, Van Dyke. Another one. And the uh, for me number four from Geha. And Geha for me for me with point four more. Okay, I have uh, this, which I believe it's a simple mechanical pencil. And the least, but not the last, I have a Van Dyke 
Faber Hand Faber. This hundred and six cup. And I have these guys included in the pack. I'm not so sure. It is a replacement part a refill from a ballpoint pen. 16554 French trick. The good Schneider mine. 75. Okay. The good or the best. Okay. So those these are the contents of the two boxes guys. And I think I did okay with them. I repeat, I paid for all of them 100 lace or approximately 21 euros or 25 American dollars. So stay tuned guys to my channel because I will follow up the fountain pens that you see here. Uh, here, sorry. And also this interesting ballpoint pen from Sheffer. I want to wish you to have a nice day wherever you are. Thank you for your time. I will see you again at the next episode. Till then, take care of yourselves and God bless.